good morning everyone good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life this is Denzimus, and you are welcome to the channel of truth enlightenment freedom and the channel of breaking empires free if you are new on this channel i talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse i talk about spirituality and i talk about personal self-development and if any of that resonates with you i invite you guys to join us give us a like share the video with friends and you may subscribe if you haven't already and for those that have always been with us you are welcome back and i thank you for your love and support i thank you for the support the support the support means a lot to me as well you know we have hit 11,000 uh, subscribers we are on the road to 20,000 so how do we get there continuing to watch these videos you subscribe of course you comment and you share with a friend other people will get the video they will follow the content they will follow my channel eventually I would like to talk about the time loop I'm going to help you guys understand why victims of, of narcissistic abuse they tend to be stuck in some kind of a time loop now you see the narcissist very carefully constructs this is a relationship that has been constructed it has not been developed it has not been uh, it has not been intended for good purposes, for good intentions, with good intentions. The, the relationship has been carefully designed and constructed by the narcissist. Mm -hmm. They will love bomb you eventually. We already know this at this point. They will love bomb you. They will come in. They will shower you with all these praises. They will take you to those trips. They will buy you those dresses. They will buy you those shoes. They will get you the latest phones. Of course... They will buy you the recent cars. Every that, all those things are normal with those guys, especially in the beginning. That is what they call the love bomb phase. Now, the narcissist is systematically doing this because they need to get into your life. So they need to find a way to maneuver a way, to trick a way into your life. And eventually, a lot of you guys are going to fall for it. When you fall for it, in a couple of months later, let's say about two or three months later, the trauma bond kicks in now when the trauma bond kicks in the trauma bond kicks in that is when you realize that you have got something with this narcissist that you don't you don't actually understand because in that time those guys are going to now slip their mask it could go halfway but in, in some cases it could actually go all the way down you will start to see this abuse they will say things you haven't heard before. They will do things you have never seen before. They will treat you in a very a very bad way. They will humiliate you. They will gaslight you. They will blame shift you. All these other things that involve abuse will start to kick in. In this time, you can't get out. Now, what is really happening in this time? It is very important to know, ladies and gentlemen, every word you hear from the narcissist, everything you hear them say, it is a spell. I'm going to repeat this one more time. Everything you see the narcissist doing, or you hear them say, it is a spell. So they are casting specific spells onto you. And most of the times, these spells are going to become your reality. So all the things they are telling you, let me say, for example, they are gaslighting you. You are going to realize that actually, you're starting to question your sanity. You think you're going crazy? They have said something, you're not sure about it. Could it be you? Could it be them? You're not sure you're in the middle. They are casting spells on you. Now, a time comes when the victim of abuse, they are stuck, okay? It's four months down the road, five months down the road, you're pregnant. Let's say, for example, it's one year down the road, you've already got married. You've got a ring on your finger from these energy vampires. Now you're thinking, okay what do i have to do this thing is too toxic how do i leave this relationship ladies and gentlemen you are going to wake up every single day you will be thinking in your mind you will be wondering you will be obsessed about leaving that relationship you don't know how to do that okay so if you leave the relationship what about this pregnancy there's a baby in your stomach if you leave this relationship what about that car financing if you leave this relationship what about that loan from the bank? What about this business we have started? What about all these little things? Now you're going to start adding up all these pieces. 
and it's very difficult so you're going to be stuck in the loop this kind of scenario is going to create a brain fog around you everything is going to start getting foggy now you don't know what to do you wake up every morning you're thinking today what am i going to eat for lunch you cannot you cannot even make it you don't even know what you want to eat for lunch or for dinner even you're going to forget to take your children to school ladies and gentlemen you may even sometimes forget to brush your teeth you are going to forget to go to work if not being late for work at least you're going to start experiencing a mental breakdown so what is happening in the victim's mind the victims of abuse what is happening in their mind is that now they are starting to think they are realizing that they are in a cycle you know so you're waking up okay for some reason you figured out what to eat by some chance okay you've, you, you've had your dinner you've done the laundry you've gone to your job you've dropped up you, you've dropped up uh, you've dropped off the kids to school okay you pick them up you watch some tele with the nurses of course a lot of abuse is going on a lot of shouting and screaming in the house now you're starting to get used to this cycle now you do not know what exactly what kind of life are you living you're starting even to doubt that relationship in most of the cases you're going to experience emotional and physical fatigue you're going to be fatigued you're going to get tired eventually you're going to get very very tired ladies and gentlemen you will be longing to connect with the people that you used to love because by that time of course let's say like for example one year down the road everybody's gone your brothers have nothing to do with you they have already advised you leave that man leave that wife of course you didn't listen they think you didn't listen everybody has left you now nobody is coming to your house nobody is visiting you you do not have any form of contact with your family everybody is gone you're stuck with an energy vampire in the house so this time loop what does it really feel like because i want to take you guys behind the scenes what does this thing feel like so you're waking up you're doing the things you think you should do of course you're putting a lot of energy even sometimes the nurses is at home they're not working you're the one who's running up and down with the kids you're cooking you're working you're doing everything they're just learning, uh, sitting down on games or watching tv that's the normal thing they do we all know that now you're going to experience sometimes whereby you're going to start losing track of time there will be moments when some days you're going to wake up and the time has gone very very fast and you need to, you don't even realize where did the time go sometimes you're going to wake up and you're going to realize the time is dragging it's like the whole day is dragging you know you're just waiting for the night to come and then when the night comes you wait for the day to come the day comes it's a very long day ladies and gentlemen and you just can't seem to get out of it now you're in some kind of a, a cycle you wake up do the regular go back to sleep eat go back to sleep go to bed do this get up in the morning now you're got to, you're starting to get into this cycle in the midst of that cycle these energy vampires they're destroying you emotionally as well so you're having a lot of difficult time in that entanglement and situation relationship friendship doesn't matter i've been stuck in the time loop actually with my own family the moment i realized that um I was stuck with family that is the moment when i awakened to being a black sheep in my family that's when i realized that oh i had been stuck in this loop with the, so there was this illusion i always had in my head oh you know these are family you know they are, they are your blood you know these are, these are your brothers and those are your sisters you are believing everything ladies and gentlemen let me tell you something everything you see these people are doing is an illusion now you start to struggle with um getting away so how do you know that you're stuck in the time loop you will experience moments when you will wake up every day wishing but you got away you know that you want to get away ladies and gentlemen everybody who has been in those situationships i will guarantee you this i've seen this you will always think about it you will dream about it you will obsess about it you want to get away but you do not know how to do that so this time loop sometimes for everybody is different mine lasted for me about seven years so that is that is how long it took me to leave the narcissist 
some people they can be stuck in this time loop for 25 years 20 years 14 years 15 years it does not matter ladies and gentlemen a person is going to be stuck in this time loop for a very long period of time you want to get away you threatening to get away even sometimes you're going to have these arguments whereby you're like okay listen i'm going to leave this place i want to leave i want to break away from this relationship it's not working these energy vampires they know that you want to leave is the reason as to why initially when you met these guys the first thing what they do they had to bond you they bonded you emotionally so they cast specific spells on you to make you believe that they are the ones for you so that you could fall for these entanglements and you fell for it we fell for it personally i fell for it as well as well in the beginning so you are now stuck with a very toxic individual you're wishing to meet someone even when you're with them you are starting to wish because now you're starting to see this emotional distance because i've told you guys these guys are emotionally distant with you they only come to you when they need something then they will get away so whenever you whenever you crave this emotional connection with them they're running off you know what i mean so they're always leaving you very empty from the inside you know what i mean you're with a wife or you're with a husband sometimes the way they treat you you don't even want to sleep with them you are craving emotional connection with someone you feel like you wish you can meet somebody who can give you some kind of an emotional satisfaction because you know that you're not getting that at home ladies and gentlemen you will spend with the nurses 10 years and all this entire time you're going to be lonely you are going to be with somebody but actually you're going to be lonely emotionally you're going to be lonely you're with somebody physically but on emotional level you're lonely and ladies and gentlemen It is going to be like a dream so most of the times the people experience this time loop is like it feels like a dream you know what i mean so for example you go to sleep suppose you go to bed in the night you sleep you have a dream like anybody else of course we, all, we already know the dreams we guys used to have when we were the nurse me personally i used to have a lot of nightmares when i was with those guys very bad nightmares you wake up you now experience another dream very long one throughout the whole day you feel like you're walking it's like you now starting to see this simulation you know your brain is very disconnected you are so disconnected to your higher self that you do not even know what you're doing you don't even know what what things to do you don't know what to play you don't even have control over your life it's like you are in this cycle you're moving one step at a time and you do not know what to do with yourself so you are having a very long dream each and every single day and you do not know how to get out of this dream so that is a sign that you're under abuse so sometimes the victims will experience a lot of depression in that time when you're with these guys for a very long period of time of course in that kind of abusive cycle you start to see a lot of depression you usually be stressed you'll be very very confused you will be very very emotionally uh what do they call it you will feel always feel that thirst for an emotional connection with somebody but in that moment you are stuck with a very toxic individual And you know what is the funny point? Let me tell you what is the funny point. What even sometimes people don't talk about. Most of the times when you're in this, in this kind of entanglements and you're stuck in those loops, you're going to start to see, sometimes you might even run into opportunities. It could be friendship opportunities. It could even sometimes be romantic opportunities. You will see sometimes you run into people and you really feel that these people, they are really nice people. Very good people and they mean well for you. Sometimes you will even believe that you have you have done a mistake to meet those individuals so a lot of times that's why you see a lot of victims tend to have these regrets they start having this regret because down the road you're thinking that i shouldn't have gotten with this person if i knew this you know what i mean i've even heard about some people on their wedding days they're already casting the relationship on their wedding days because they are starting to see the abuse so the reason why you see these guys are rushing in to marry you to put a wedding ring on your finger they know that you are going to run off Ladies and gentlemen, they know who they are, you know. They may not necessarily know that they are narcissists, but they know that they have got toxic patterns because they have already seen these things happening in their lives and they know how it works. So they are catching in, they are running in very quickly to hook you, hook you up and suck you very fast into that entanglement and bond you very quickly before you leave. So is the reason as to why you see them, they are moving very, very fast. Two weeks, you are pregnant. Three weeks, you are pregnant. One month, you are married. Three days, you are moving together. That's how they work. It's how they operate. Ladies and, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, all these things are red flags. If you do not want to be stuck in an emotional loop, those kind of time loss with those people, 
you have to look out for the red flags when you're meeting someone. They are very quick to move in. Quick to marry you. Quick to have babies. They are gifting you with all these things even before they know your name. A person will come and buy you the most expensive dress or a watch or whatever. Take to the most expensive dinners even before they know your name. So that's how fast those people move. All those are red flags, ladies and gentlemen. The time loops are real. The time will stop. You have already lost track of time. You can no longer take care of yourself. Your own personal needs as an individual. You're only concerned about taking care of an individual. A very toxic individual for this matter. You know what I mean? So those are the things we talk about. When, we, when I'm talking about a time loop, I'm talking about the cycle that is keeping on going. You know, that, that kind of cycle whereby you're keeping on going in circles with a very toxic individual. You're thinking about leaving them. You're thinking about terminating this relationship. You don't know how to do that. Now you decide to surrender into the relationship. However toxic it is, you find yourself surrendering. You say, okay, let whatever be. Whatever happens will happen. I'll just stay in there. I've had, I've had people personally, personally telling me these kind of things. Okay, let me get stuck in this. Let me just leave it the way it is. We shall see how it goes. So how it goes, it can go for the, it can go like that for 10, 20 years if you're not careful with these guys because those guys are not willing to let you go. You know what I mean? So, ladies and gentlemen, empaths very important to know. Beware. Narcissistic abuse is very real, very destructive, very dangerous, not only for your physical health, for your emotional health, for your mental state, you will get destroyed, ladies and gentlemen, in every way with the narcissist. If you have seen these kind of things, I wish to know about that in the comment section below. And until then, you guys already know that I do love and appreciate your support. Book a session, donate or support my channel if you want to. Emails, cash up and PayPal, you will find everything in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Desmos signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.